Hi guys, welcome back to the Great Dane channel. You find me here on my street in Hudson, Ohio, walking the dogs and getting a little break. So today I've got some footage for you and I think you'll enjoy it. Wimpy little pooch, don't you see? The great big dog's the only one for me. Then I'll be doing all right. Well, I got him back when he was just a pup. Way back then, I could pick him up. Now he barely fits into my pickup truck. Yeah, that's what's he's doing the all right. Magic's got And it's a great day. All right, I'm getting ready to take these boys for a walk. Sit. Oh, he's down. Yeah, you stay. 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 I need to get... You stay. I have to get my controller. There it is. Of course, we got Stowe Professional Painting here knocking it out every day. And I do mean every day. Okay. Can we sit right there, please? Sit. Hey everybody, it's November 3rd, election day. I've got the boys out here for a walk. It's gonna be 70 degrees, I think, today. And amazing. The house project is really getting close. Hi, Rhonda. And they took the dumpster away today, which is huge. We have a lot of painting and touch up to do, but we've got really good painters in Stowe professional painting here. But the boys are here and it's a beautiful day. So I don't know where I was, but uh, I just got talking to my neighbor. And uh, yeah, so we're getting close on the house. The dogs are doing good. Sorry they weren't featured much in the Halloween video. I really couldn't imagine having the dogs able to meet and greet each of those kids and trick-or-treaters that come up. That's just too big of a risk. Um, they're fine in a, a different setting, but with those costumes and masks, I can't imagine. So also sorry to my people that don't love snakes. Again, if I'm gonna include the snakes, which I'm not in this video, you'll know it. I'll have a little disclaimer. Uh, but anyway, they're just part of my little menagerie. My zoo is that one little girl called it when she came to the door. But I just have both dogs out here on a walk. It's a little lunch break. We'll get them some food when we get back. And just like to get them outside. Gorgeous blue sky day, the fall color's done. Heel, we're turning around, heel. Good boys, good boys. Heel, that's right, Magic assumes his position on the outside. So I have some footage in here that you'll see and hope you enjoy it. Hey, we're just putting the finishing touches on the kitchen remodel, but we got to check on Finn and, and Magic for that matter. Ooh, lie down, lie down. Hi, how are you? Well, it is time to eat, so. One scoop for Magic, there you go. Two scoops, two scoops for Finn, who's still only 142 pounds. All right, I can take this mask off, but I wanted to just talk to you guys about the fact every time I show footage of the dogs eating, I get a question about why I don't raise the feeders. And the raised feeders were certainly something everyone thought was a great idea back in the day. Are you getting my shirt dirty? Um, but the reality is, uh, I raised the feeders for my first two Danes and both of them bloated. That would be, uh, Brunhilde or Hilda and Frederick. So then a study came out, um, from Purdue University that actually showed raised feeders had a higher incidence of bloat. So I do the food just on the ground and, you know, time will tell, but more importantly, I tack their stomachs. There's a whole video on that. You can check that out here or here. I forget where it is. 
Um, so it's your choice, but I, I get a question all the time, so I thought I'd just include it again. I don't feel the need to raise feeders, neither do any of my breeders, whereas 30 years ago they told me to raise the feeders, so it does change. But we're here now to check on Finn's foot. How's that foot looking? What's going on? Did you hurt your dew claw was the question. Hang on. Stay, stay, stay. Let me see this paw. Let me see it. Oh, it's, it's warm. But it's not your dew claw. It's something else. We'll have to go have it looked at. Get in your house. Good boy. You're a good boy. And you're a good boy. What are you doing? Ooh, look at the pretty kitchen. Let's eat. Good morning, Finn. We have to check on your paw. Come on, let me see your paw. It actually looks less swollen. Hi. 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 Yep, that's less swollen. Good. Good. Eat your breakfast. Hi, 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 hi. Hi. Hi, yeah, you're a good boy. You're on stall rest. You're on stall rest. See, magic's already eating. Eat your breakfast. Eat your breakfast. Good boy. We'll take you out on a leash in just a minute. We gotta, we gotta rest that paw. Uh, quick update. I gotta take Finn out on the leash to uh, favor his little paw. But Magic and I want to show you how well the kitchen has come along. So tremendous progress. We're getting a final clean today. But really, really happy with how this all came out. So let's go. Our floating shells, yay. Let's go see how Mr. Finn is doing. Hi Finn, relax. Ooh, your paw looks better. It's not too bad. Not too bad when we look at it that way, okay? Now let me put your collar on. And we're gonna go out for a calm walk. Okay, Magic, you stay inside. No, this way, Finn, outside the front door. Easy, easy. No, 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 no. Easy. One person at a time. Finn, sit. Ooh, we even got a new door handle and the front door was painted, it's beautiful. Finn, sit. Oh, that is looking better, I think. All right, let's go potty. Heel, good boy, go potty. So, uh, we'll give it another day or two, and as long as we see the uh, swelling keep going down, uh, no trip to the vet. But if it doesn't, we'd, we'd take him to the vet. Don't worry, I give my dogs very good vet care. Um, but I'm not gonna make an unnecessary trip Plus, Heidi had Finn out in the garden yesterday, I think it was. She said he was running around like crazy, like nothing ever happened, and I didn't get a chance to go tell her that he's on stall rest like a horse would be. I am very excited to show you the new kitchen. Thanks to LDS specialists, we've got an island. We got rid of all of this upper soffits and cabinets. I'll show you the before and after. A beautiful steel gray leather granite with the sink, all new white parts. We've got a repurposed our KitchenAid dishwasher. Floating shelves from Etsy in California. A KitchenAid 36 inch hood, 36 inch cooktop, gas. Bling there, this will be the coffee station. And our table from Pottery Barn, I believe. Black with mismatched colored chairs and a new fixture as well. So that is the kitchen. We are 
Good to go. Now let's go upstairs and check out the master bath and closet remodel. Well, we're gonna start with a new hallway fixture. A little more updated than a 32 year old fixture. All of the doors have been painted white up here. New oval egg shaped hardware. So we've got that whole white theme up here. Let's go into the master. We took this wall out and we've got this lovely barn door here. New little addition today was when this barn door closes, we added this strip of poplar, which gives us a full closure, no light, all the privacy you want. And let's check out the master. Canyon Dawn granite countertop, new window installed. Heidi's already moved in. We've got the shower with the growy system. So we have the rain shower along with the handle system, little teak bench, all of the uh, shower shampoo niceties in the niche. It's a very big shower, so we can have Great Dane baths going on in here all the time. And great controls right here as you enter the shower. You can turn on those controls and have the thing heated up before you ever get there. So we're loving that. A little marmalene uh, threshold and counter. Matching Canyon Dawn sill. And continuing with the white with oval. And of course, we've got uh, extra cabinets that we put in here to match. So one more thing, let's check out the master closet. So with the addition of a pocket door here, it's allowed us to have tremendous space savings and get us a full California closet, three quarters of the wall, extended into the master bedroom, giving us that open six foot by seven foot dressing room space, Laundry hamper to downstairs, fantastic. So I just want to thank LDS specialist Steve Huddleston in particular, Len for the original quote and the work helping us be comfortable with the job you're going to do. You delivered. It's a fantastic project. I couldn't recommend you highly enough. We love our remodel. What is it, Finn? Get it. Get it, Finn. You're silly. That's going to do it from the Great Dane channel. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe, give it a like, leave us a comment. Have a Great Dane. So, anyway, Finn is doing great. It's all good. Happy Wednesday. Have a Great Dane. Just is good.